Hey, Joe at Red's Fly Shop here. Power Hour video tip of the week. When you're dry fly fishing on small water, the best approach is going to be casting back upstream and letting that fly float back down to you. But there are a couple of tricks to make it much easier and more efficient. The faster and more efficiently you can cover water, like right behind me here, the more success you're going to have, and you're going to have an enjoyable and less frustrating casting experience as well. So what I want to show you today is called a roll cast recovery. It's how I dry fly fish and I'm teaching one of my guests here today to do it. So I'm going to cast back upstream and I'm going to make a nice cast over that spot. I'm going to strip my line back in, 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 in. I want to fish that fly all the way back to me. But if I keep stripping all the way in, I'm left with just about 12 inches of actual fly line out my rod tip then it becomes very frustrating working that line back out because I don't have much inertia or momentum to get me started. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like in real time, how to do a roll cast recovery and an upstream dry fly approach. An upstream dry fly approach requires almost no mending when you choose your angles and make good casts. So I cast up and I'm gonna, I'm gonna retrieve the line back down to manage my slack, but when I get just over a rod length of line, I'm just gonna lift my rod up to bring in slack. I'm gonna roll cast into the air, and I can do that one time, and I can shoot back out about 30 feet of line making a nice presentation. I'm stripping, I'm stripping, I'm stripping. Then I'm just gonna lift my rod up. I might take a step upstream, roll cast into the air, and then make a false cast or two laying out a very, very nice cast, retrieving my line as the fly floats back to me, roll cast into the air, shoot it all the way back out, just like that. It's very efficient. I can keep my feet moving. That roll cast recovery is a great trick. Uh, and I want, it's important to note as well, when you're upstream dry fly fishing, we often do that on small channels, small water, big water where I'm fishing an opposing bank, I'm gonna work downstream. When you make this cast upstream, finish with your rod low. The opposite of a tip that I gave a couple of weeks ago. When I'm casting upstream, I want to make my rod tip bring come all the way to the water. It's just a much more efficient way to cover the water. So hopefully that tip helps. I'm going to walk a little further up here and see if I can't get a rainbow out of here on a dry fly. All right, so there it is. Got that nice fish out of that bucket like I'd hoped to using that upstream dry fly. Uh, fishing technique I was just teaching one of my guests how to do a roll cast recovery while upstream dry fly fishing. Got this beautiful rainbow. Let me get my, my hand nice and wet here, and we'll take just a really quick look at this fish before we let him go on that dry fly. Beautiful, works great. Upstream dry fly fishing is very effective on small water.